Warning, 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 warning. This is a Menacy Podcast. Code Red, Code Red, who are Code Red? Here we are. Pick up your iPads, your cell phones, and have me and listen to Uncle the Podcast. Watch out. If you're sitting down for this, or if you're standing up, you better get ready for this, because it's going to hit the air, eardrums. Uncle the Podcast. You are listening to Uncle the Broadcast. My name is Aaron. I'm the nephew-in-law. Here with me is the star of the show, Uncle. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. We're back on the Sunday Night Activity Talk Show. <clears throat> this is the talk show of history. Oh, of history. What's that noise? I wouldn't worry about that. that noise going downstairs and jumping up and down? Ah, oh, it's the usual, Uncle. It is the 196, 96, or 97? 200, 293. We're at 293 now. 293? Believe it or not. Yes, we are. I don't uh, I must have been uh, jumping my gun or something. It's hard for me to believe that we made uh, it this far, but here we are. 193, so then. This is the episode of. Not bad. We're doing okay, then. Then here we are. And we have, we have, I leave two guests on the line at this moment. We do. And if you <sighs> want to call in and join us, you may. So 319 527 you can come on the show or use Skype. Charles Dottocelli, send them a I, message he'll bring you on. I also got some interesting news. Oh, I can't wait that, for that came. It's on Instagram, but I'm letting you guys look at it before we have a discussion. Okay, then. Well, should we go to these callers, do you think, and start talking to them, Uncle? Yeah, let's have the callers on. <clears throat> okay, we have – let me see here. Why don't we go to our caller in oh. Michigan first? Oh, Jimmy Call Boy, up. I know who he is. <laughs> Don't have to say who he is. I know who he is. Jimmy Boy, what's up? Hey, Uncle, how are you doing? Fine. I know it's you. It's Jimmy. He's back. Oh, what's happening? Oh, uh, another day, another nickel. That's about right. <clears throat> hey, that that thing that's finally going to go down. Now, nah, that's another question. What's going down? Yeah. Well, you know that nickel is ten cents in Michigan, Jimmy. Oh, you know, ten cents. In yeah, you get ten, you get ten cents a can in Michigan instead of five cents. You know, I just found that out listening to Jimmy uh, earlier. That that reminds me of the Seinfeld episode where they uh, the mail truck with yeah. cans <laughs> and they go to Michigan. <clears throat> you know, I've only ever watched about As three well, episodes of that stupid show now, and and I never watched it when it was popular. And that is one of the very few episodes I actually know. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. That's that's a, that's a that pretty good episode. Pretty funny. Like that one. It's a yeah. very good Remember? funny program. Let's put it that way. Family programming. Yeah, that's what I want. Yeah. That's what I said. Oh yeah. So I kick. I I I really like Seinfeld too, Uncle, and Larry yeah. David. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. That show's pretty. I, good. Who I like on it is not the other guy. It's the guy that's dumb. You talking about wait? You talking about Kramer? Yeah, Kramer. Kramer. You like that character? Okay. That yeah, character, Kramer. Kramer. Okay. He going nut, going back and forth, back and forth. <laughs> what do you say? And they're all going back and forth at each other. Get up! Get up! Well, he's a little crazy. I don't know if he's dumb, Uncle. You you think Kramer's dumb on that show? Because he seems more crazy than dumb to me. No. Well, could be both. He's a little kooky. He's yeah. he's, a, he's a bit. He's kooky a kooky nut, character. I'd say. He's eccentric. I wouldn't say he's yes. dumb. I'd say he's definitely what? Uh, eh. It's, he's definitely not smart, but I don't think he's <laughs> dumb. And he's definitely kooky. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's kooky. definitely yeah. kooky, but I think the story behind that is uh, Larry David in real life had a neighbor that was kind of like Kramer. They based Kenny that Kramer. character on him. Yeah, yes, guess... his name was Kenny Kramer. Kenny Kramer in real life? That, was, his or that was his name? Yeah. Real life? That's the real, no, that's the man, the man, the real man's uh, Kenny Kramer and the TV guy's uh, Cosmo Kramer. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, Cosmo. <laughs> well, they sure act the same. <clears throat> but why don't we go to our other caller here, too, without any ado? We'll go, we'll, hang on there, Jimmy. We'll be right oh, back. Yeah. We've got our other caller. 
Caller, you're on the line. What's you're up? on the line. Now speak up. <clears throat> Hi, how are you, Uncle? This is Chris Graves. How's it going? Oh, hey, that's Chris Graves, the man that I need to talk about wrestling about. Oh, here we go. <laughs> that's right. That's, that's right. right. Here we go. How, we, how are we looking? <clears throat> well, I'm this past still, work, work. still working on it, Uncle. Can I tell oh. you a Kramer thing real quick? He's like, oh, oh. I'll go yeah. ahead. Yeah, yeah. All right, he's a Kramer thing, right? Yeah, um, yeah. When the Seinfeld Chronicles, which was the original version of Seinfeld, premiered in 1989 Kramer's original name was Hoffman oh and, yes I remember that name and then TV Guide had a uh, contest for people to name Kramer giving him a, a first name and that was all uh, that's how Cosmo came about because people that was the winner of the contest oh so I, I remember a lot of goofy goofy crap that doesn't it's not going to make me any money but you know <laughs> No, oh, he makes he uh, this fella here gets some contacts. I'm oh, gonna yeah. tell you something, so oh, I can't, yeah. Yes, this guy knows how to get contacts. He's contacting as we speak. <laughs> yeah, as we speak. We've got some good action in the chat rooms. We What's have, what we got in there? We've got Electric Daz and Twitch watching. Uh, black screen on Twitch. Uh oh. I hope that. I don't know what's Switch. going on there. Sorry, Electric Daz. And then Darren Electric Fowles Daz. is saying it's working here. See, I told you on Twitch, and he's over at YouTube. So if the Twitch channel is having a problem, yeah, just head over to the YouTube. Yeah, I channel. told you a couple of the channels are saying black screen sometimes. So just telling you. Yeah. I, I, I don't screen. know why that is because What's going it seems on like there? it's going through from what I can tell on my end. And I know that after the fact, if you go on Twitch tomorrow, this episode will be there then. I don't know why it's not working now. That's odd. I, I don't know. But um, – mm. Go to YouTube. That's the short version of the story right now. The YouTube uh, link. It, Uncle's YouTube's working fine, apparently. So Uncle, I'm, Uncle, I'm still I'm still working on uh, a, a wrestler for you. I just oh. it's uh, more difficult than I thought. <laughs> I, no, no. Join join the party. I told you that. <laughs> mm-hmm. You're it's right. Tough. You're right. When you're right, you're right. Join the party, and these guys are trying to get on. They saying, "Well, we got numbers ready." <laughs> we we've got to we got to send a thank you to Robin for oh, all yeah, the Robin. graphics he's oh, the yeah. WWE well, you, graphics. Thank you, making. Robin. He's been yeah. doing a good job. He did one uh, for Coco Beware that I've been trying to get on the show specifically. The Birdman. The Birdman. He did a really oh, that's good. That's Uncle's beating him up. Right? Yes. Yes. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. You seen like that? that? You seen that? You seen oh, that? Yeah. Oh, that is a t-shirt. Yeah, there's another surprise I want to talk about. Quick shout Wait out to Robin. Minute. Quick shout out to Robin also for helping out with the Ocelli uh, uh, Network graphic this week too. So appreciate it, man. He helped out with the archive graphic, the nice one that looks like uh, you know the gray one up top with the microphone uh, that I put out for the uh, uh, first show. It was about a week and a half ago now, but I wanted to shout out to Robin for that as well. Yeah, that was nice too. He's been busy. It's been busy. busy. Okay, cool. yeah. Did anybody notice on Instagram, on my Instagram, remember I was talking to you about the Marlin fish? The fish. There it Instagram. was. It did. That's it. I posted that today. She yeah. posted it today. And everybody, anybody seen it? I hope everybody's following Uncle's Instagram. Have Let's anybody see seen it today? To Uncle's Instagram. I'm searching for it right Wait, now. What's the name of that fish? I'm I'm too stupid for Instagram, but I do know you can follow at Uncle Podcast on there, right? That's right. Yeah, that too, Chuck. That's, that's but I can look at it. Yeah. It's probably on there too. No, I have an Instagram. Yeah, and it's on there too. Yeah. Chuck. Okay, because I have an Instagram, but I don't know how to use it. I, I'm terrible. Yeah. Oh, uh, I know. Same here. Same here. Well, well. Uh, I I I told you I was going to find this no, uh, this picture and I did and I told him to put it on to let you guys see it and it's a big one you'll see it I want you to say I used to well, have yeah, an uncle Instagram well, wait, how, image. how do you know the fish how do you know the fish is Mormon a Mormon uh because that's the one we caught a mo- Marlin that's the one we caught. Is it to to uh, to stuff? I, I want to. Is it a marlin or is it a sailfish? No, it's a marlin. It is a mar- marlin, really. Mm-hmm. Okay, because when he was caught, he was making uh, art projects out of egg cartons. That's how we know he was a mar- mar- Mormon. Marlin, marlin. I, I know. <laughs> uh, 
Well, yeah. that was that was my friend's boat and Joey's boat. This, this is another Man. Uncle podcast. This is okay. Now I'm just gonna get upset if I see that Instagram. That's a different one. What is this? Is, is this kind of fish technically a shark? Uh, I don't believe so. We got another call. Hold on a minute. Hold that thought. Uh, Who's on the line and calling from? Hello? Hello, caller. Hey, it's the Cal. How you doing, Uncle? Hey, Kenny. Where has you been? Uh, I was wondering if you'd want to talk to Dusty Wolf. I mean, I don't know him personally, but he doesn't have many followers on Twitter. He's like someone that you guys could get in contact with. He's, He's a wrestler? He's a wrestler? Yeah, he played Doink. Oh, oh, he's yes, yes, yes. I want, I want to get to him. Oh, yeah, tell him to call I'll him put, in. I'll put his Twitter in the uh, Charlie chat right now. Yeah, put him in the Charlie like chat. Let, uh, the chat uh, uh, let them look him up. That's and, weird. Why would he have a few followers? You'd think he'd be big. Yeah. What's going on there? I would I like that. Apparently he's also a professor, so you could probably get him on your program too, Aaron. Well, you know, when when they declared ICP a uh, a gang, Aaron, you know, when the feds declared ICP a gang, maybe he got all, you know, tied into that mess and people are staying away from him. You're talking about that doink? Because I met that doink. Doink the Clown, yeah, right. Doink the Clown. Oh, all right, at the the gathering. All right. Oh, no, but, but Doink the Clown. Been to the has he been to the Doink the Clown was yeah, a wrestler. He'd go around with the security in the little cart and everything, and like throw stuff oh. at people. Oh, there we go. Oh, well, there we well go. Doink, there Doink, we Doink go. the Clown. Yeah, but Doink the Clown was like part of the whole clown thing, and then ICP got into the wrestling world, right? And yeah, he yeah. kind of joined up with them. They had like a whole clown thing going, <laughs> right? Wow. Yeah. Which so. Was good, that's cool. They had like Doink the Clown like beat up the Blue Blazer or something. He like jumped from the Blue Blazer from behind at one point. I think it was like his big claim to fame for a minute, and then he was part of the the crazy clown stuff. And then uh, there wasn't there like a whole like uh, five man tag team of clowns at one point. Yeah, there was. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't remember. Doink, all Doink, 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 Doink actually, uh, Bobcat yeah. Goldsway has a funny story about Doink uh, showing him around uh, the gathering and uh, Doink being uh, hit by a bottle and being knocked out and then getting up and being like, well, that's just part of the job. That's just part of the job. Part of the job. Yeah. Nice. Meanwhile, nice. Tila Tequila was on stage had having a poo thrown at her or something. Wow. That, I'm going to go follow oh, this yeah, guy on yeah. Twitter, though. Thanks, Pupper, for dropping that in the Ocelli chat. Mm-hmm. I say we all go follow him and we all go tell him that he should do the uncle show because yeah, he'll yeah, get a yeah, bunch yeah. of messages. Yeah, it'd be great. Absolutely. How's your style? Absolutely. I'm just you need one of those guys. Yeah. So do that with all these wrestlers. Uh, so we've got Coco Beware the Birdman. He's one of them. Follow him. And yeah, do it with Doink now for sure. I'll be doing Doink. that. Be Doink. Great to have him. Doink. <clears throat> That'd be cool. But we tried Jim Cornette, and I also reached out to a guy I don't know, Sam Houston, again, uh, just to see, because he's been on my show, Sam Houston at least. But yeah. uh, I had him reach out to him again. And uh, somebody, um, what was it? Not the, uh, not, 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 well, somebody brought up a wrestler on, on a Friday night thing. Cause we did a special, uh, the, the new prisoners did a special on Friday night about wrestling conspiracies. Uh, mm-hmm. Chris Graves is a regular contributor over there, but we also simulcasted here and that got a conversation started about another wrestler, uh, that oh, was yeah. brought up there, a rare one that, that I was talking about on that show. And somebody said, well, why don't you try and get that guy? And I was like, didn't even think about it. So we're, we're we're working on like 10, 12 different wrestlers. We're going to get one of them, Uncle. Tell mm-hmm. him. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. So the, the, the mission continues. This is very exciting. <laughs> also, also, you should watch that, too. It chucks on it. It's a uh, wrestling a WWE uh, conspiracy thing. Pretty in-depth. Mm-hmm. It's different conspiracies that have to do with it's WWE. In, all yeah. having to do with WWE and a lot of them. It's on your The guy who calls them, uh, yeah. Truck. Well, it's not it's, it's not mine. No, 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 it's not mine. It's the New Prisoners, and you can find it on Rumble and Odyssey and all that stuff. Uh, okay. But I was part of it. I was on the panel that night. Really, the guy is... Simulta- simulcast. Did yeah, too. I did simulcast, oh, but the, the guy that calls himself number six did this uh, uh, really interesting job. He put together the top 30. Aaron conspiracies, uh, wrestling conspiracies, the top 30 that he could assemble. And it's funny cause I even brought up a couple that weren't on the list. <laughs> and, uh, and, uh, there was uh, Billy Ray Valentine was on there. Really big wrestling oh, fan. Valentine. That's yeah. another guy. I yeah. I was thinking him. about the Valentine I'll put guys the link in the chat, in the Ocelli.com chat, but I'll put it, 
uh, Aaron, I'll put the link in our little Skype chat too. There you go. Okay. Okay. Uh, cool. Yeah, yeah. Sounds anyway, good. yeah. I, I know Uncle well, would enjoy listening to that. Anyway, yeah, check it out. I'll get it off the mind. Did you guys hear about how Bruce Lee had a new autopsy and the results? Bruce Lee? No. No, I didn't hear that. What happened? That's news to me. What oh, happened? Oh, well, yeah. they did it. A European country did it. Uh, and they concluded that he died from dehydration. Mm. So he didn't have enough water. There it is. There it he is. Had, like, it, virtually no water. Yeah. And plus, yeah. it's known that he had his armpit uh, glands removed so he wouldn't sweat on the screen. Whoa. So basically, he had kind of the same problem that a dog has. He can't, couldn't sweat. Mm. Weird. Okay, I hadn't do heard you guys, that. Yeah. Do you guys remember the horror movie, The Hills Have Eyes? Mm. I, kn- I know of it, that. but I've actually yeah. never seen it. Do you know the poster that. with the guy, the, the, bald, the bald guy with the, holding the knife and everything? He was like the main villain. Yeah. He, that guy was in One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. His name is Michael Berryman. He has a, a rare condition, skin condition, where he will not sweat. So he can literally overheat and die if uh, he doesn't have the proper uh, temperature, like oh, wow. wherever he goes and things like that. Oh, uh, yeah. I don't know the term, but. I guess it's not as rare as I. No, I read about that. Uh, it's something about uh, he can't regulate the temperature in his body, and one of the things is he doesn't even sweat. Right? That, that's sweat. the way that works. That's right. Yeah. 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 And wasn't he also on the Goonies? Oh, no, man. that was uh, <laughs> no. He looked that. That was a make. That was makeup on that guy. The one that played. Uh, hey, slot. You guys. Yeah, slot. That was a makeup job. I'm talking about Michael, the actor Michael Berryman, and I can tie it around to Bruce Lee right now. Michael Berryman played mm. a character called the Skeleton Cowboy that was cut out of the movie The Crow, where he acted opposite Brandon <laughs> Lee. Brandon Lee. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. mm. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah. I do know who the guy is because I, I did listen to a show once with Brent Holland with him on it. I, I see in the chat Count Pupper said he had to go because of his dog. Um, oh. So thanks for coming on, oh, Count yeah. Pupper. Thank you, Pup. Um, yeah, interesting. Um, I don't know if everybody's going to get upset with me for changing directions, but I feel like this is important to bring up. Because, what is it? Well, I, I was just doing my research today. Oh, another Nicole. research. A sausage party there, people. And what do I mean by doing? Sidekick. It's got something going here. Oh, I got something going, Uncle. You're going to love this. Well, uh, what is this? Well, my research involved just looking at Google Maps. That was my research. Sure. And, of course, Google I was Maps. looking around Landers, California. And I came across an interesting place that I think we need to learn more about. It's a restaurant. Uh-oh. Called Big Gerald Sanders All You Can Eat Shrimp and Barbecue Buffet. <laughs> oh, I heard you say you were going to talk about that. Yes, I'm talking about it now. That's the what you said you were having a surprise about, yeah. and you was going to talk about that. Yes. Oh, now now that with shrimp in it, let's talk about shrimp. There's Where shrimp. is this shrimp? <clears throat> well, it's in the middle of nowhere it's it, you have to actually drive past giant rock which is out past on dirt roads, way, we know beyond where that the is. roads even and like uh it's it's kind of like between giant rock and johnson valley like the hammers uh off-road uh, trails oh right. like next next project when we go there next time yeah we'll hit it I, I want to see that restaurant. We need to go there. I, we we oh. need to. I, I'm thinking, Uncle, that uh, I've been wanting to make videos again. Oh. And what I think we should do is make a video of us going <laughs> to Big Gerald Sanders All You Can Eat Shrimp and Barbecue Buffet. Will that be a lunch hour? Or, or we can make know? a video out of it. We can film it and then I'll edit it and we'll post it on the YouTube channel. I think it'd be a good return to video. It's been something that I think that we Remember should do. Remember that time we I had it on my birthday and they had that thing? That's what we should do on this. What you had we, shrimp. No, it was on that – the with – what was those people's names? Are you talking about food that we ate? That we ate that we did on – or had on YouTube. Uh, uh, oh, the beef people? Yeah, the beef people. We'd do it on that with this. 
Yeah, it's I mean, similar. That, similar to that yeah. you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. It's just I, I, I'm wondering if it's an actual real place. It seems too good to be true. I don't understand how you can have a restaurant that far out. But again, I know it almost sounds like something Wiley Coyote would do to get people out in the middle of nowhere and have their cars. Coyotes. Out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, with the coyotes. You think we're being um, hoodwinked here, Jimmy? Or is, are we being fooled? Is, is there a free bird seed sign out in the parking lot? I mean, you know, you got to check. Oh, no. I don't know what – there's no Google Street View out there on um, – Where the heck did you find this? On Google Maps. I was doing my research, Uncle. Look, research. I'm on Google Maps right here. I'm going to see – what's the name of the road? I'm going to – it's got a cool name, the road. Let's see here. I'm the road. Yeah, it's uh, – let's see here. Oh, it's Touchstone Road. Touchstone. Yeah, Touchstone Road. That's Get the good, words right now. Uh-huh. And it's out there. Yeah, if if we were to drive from our place in Landers to Giant Rock, of course, through the sand roads. And if Big we kept going rocks. past Giant Rock, and then we kind of like took a left and then uh, went north, and then we kind of took another left, we'd be at Big will there be a will there be a building there? Let's put it that. Way. There's a building here on the on the map. It's it's a yeah. And it see look. Not a platform. So we're looking at it on Google Maps now. Wow, look at this. See how long it is. Look the at building. The shrimp. Yeah, it looks like it might be a restaurant. It looks different than the houses. There are houses there, small houses. And then there's this structure claiming to be the people. There are. Oh, if you look on the screen, it, it is a shrimp. There's pictures of shrimp. Pictures of the shrimps. Listing. There's no telephone number. I, if there's a telephone number, you better believe I'd be calling them. Oh, but yeah. There isn't. Where the heck they get – where the heck they can make business and not have – I see your points. It's Look, look. Here, I'll zoom out for you, Uncle, and then you'll see where Giant Rock is. Okay, so where's here's on? the restaurant, right? I'm going to zoom out here on Google Maps. Okay, so there it is. There's the restaurant. Giant Rock is right here, right? Right. There, there's Big Gerald Sanders. That's not far north. away. No, it's not far. How far is that? About five minutes, ten minutes? Uh, from, from that, from that there, from Giant Rock, it would probably take you ten minutes if you're going quick. Ten to fifteen minutes to drive from Giant Rock to there, I think. That's my estimate. Yeah, that, that and this I'm is going. again on sand roads, back roads. I want to say where the streets have no name, but they still kind kind of have names. We've got Touchstone Road here. This thing going by Makiska Boulevard is – we're going to have difficulty finding that, I think. That's right there by Giant Rock. But uh, I, I think it will be an adventure, Uncle. That's something we got to keep our eye on. Okay, let's go and, and expose that place once we get there. Well, well, we have nothing to do. We can do something like that. Uh, Chris, do you like all-you-can-eat uh, buffets? Yeah, do you like – well, I'm a big fat guy, so yeah. When the pizza hut, oh, buffet, that's right, that's right. When the pizza yeah, hut eat something like that. Ended in uh, Woonsocket, Rhode Island. I I cried for like the a whole month of August. Oh, uh, <laughs> that's hmm. a big yes, then. Okay, that's a yes. Man. Would, would you be excited about like if you knew of a crazy shrimp and barbecue buffet in the middle of the desert? Would you go out? Would you try to find it? Um, in the middle of the desert, that would be kind of suspect. I'd like to know the refrigeration <laughs> process uh, from the the ocean. I mean, being right next to Cape Cod in the Atlantic Ocean, uh, I feel a little safer with those buffets. But in the middle of the desert, uh, it's possible, um, but uh, I would tread lightly. So maybe we mm. uh, get more heavy on the barbecue side of the menu than the shrimp side yeah, of the menu. Yeah, pizza. pizza. Yeah, pizza. Okay. Oh, I know where there's pizzas up there. There's a lot of pizza places there's out there. There's a lot there of pizza there. places yeah, up there. I know that. I'm kind of glad it's not another pizza place, honestly. I'm, <laughs> and I'm adventurous enough that I'll I'll just – it looks like one of those Cajun-style shrimp boils from the picture where they serve it to you in a plastic bag. I don't know if they have these in other states, but they're very popular here. <laughs> Remember we was going to the restaurant? Yes. And we had the balls of uh, shrimp? That's exactly what this is. Uncle. Ah, I see. And now, now I know what you mean. I know what you're talking about. The shrimp yeah, and the, the, the crawfish. The places. crawfish when the one got burnt down? Yes. The I remember crawfish. it now. I know what you're talking about. I know what you're talking about now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It but it had a but it had bags in it. Yeah. I mean, the one picture of their food on this Google Maps listing looks like it's one of them. It's yeah, it does boy. look like that. 
Oh, and do then, they have like haddock and stuff? Like, because uh, I don't do shrimp, but I do all kinds of other seafood. All I don't have much to go off of here, other than the name of the place. Oh, yeah. it's like has it's, it's no a, has no uh, idea what crazy. he's looking at. He's looking <laughs> at he's looking at a name, oh, shrimp yeah. and barbecue. It's got and, a couple of photos. So the photos oh, the photos listed photo. here on Google Google Maps is one of this pile of shrimp with a plastic bag. Right. Then it's which which might be cold shrimp too. I don't know if it's a boil or cold frozen shrimp. I don't know. It, it looks to be cooked. Be. It looked cooked though. It looked cooked. So there's yeah. that picture. Then there's a picture of a really creepy looking spider. No, it's Spider Man. Yes, with Spider Man. It's Spider Man. It's got a large oh, yeah, Spider Man yeah. like. I don't know, figure that sure, looks like yeah. it. Spider-Man's meat. eating shrimp in the desert. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's what it looks like. Sp- and there's a small... Sounds like they ate some bad seafood already, and now they're tripping. There's, there's <laughs> yeah. a small child, like, walking down a set of stairs. There's these weird railings, yeah. and the child's kind of looking over next to Spider-Man, and there uh, look to be booths. Jeez, what, what is this, the Snyder Cut of the, uh, you see, you know, oh, Red Lobster saying, commercial? I'm what the hell's going on here? That's what he's looking at. It's what he's looking oh, at in this awesome. thing. Star Wars uh, holiday special. Of- yeah, 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 uh-huh. yeah. <laughs> Hollywood special. I mean, it's and and then the third picture, Chuck, you'll get a kick out of this. The third picture is a picture of Lyndon Baines Johnson eating barbecue, which I'm oh, pretty God. sure the picture was not taken in Landers because there's like green trees and grass behind him. So yeah, I don't know yeah. where that's from, but I don't yeah, think yeah. that's from Big Gerald's All You Can Is Eat. Is Jackie no. Kennedy crying? Very weird. Yeah, now, now, now somebody's just <laughs> making a collage. Spider-Man, LBJ, and a kid going downstairs. Maybe maybe one okay, of these... Uh, but now, look in, the, look in where he just mentioned. Maybe one of these AI bots. Space. Maybe one of these AI bots. Uh, somebody said, hey, uh, sh- make me a seafood restaurant. And the AI bot came up with this. You know, I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to try to get... Um, I'm going to try to get... Uh, for the live stream viewers, I'm going to try to get a graphic up of this. Aaron, there's a job for your... There's a new job for your Bing friend right there. Ask him about the restaurant. Oh, yeah, I know. Well, I can't get it to work. Once oh, it works, okay. that's going to be one of the okay. – will be the second question. I ask <laughs> sure. What is that? I got to ask about Crazy Robert first. Oh, here's Rancho Relaxo. Okay, so here's Rancho Relaxo. Rancho Relaxo. But what I want to show is Big Gerald's. Okay, so we got that up. This is a proof of concept. Let me play around with it. I think that's a massage side. parlor in Bayonne, uh, Rancho Relaxo. But all right. No, sorry. <laughs> I, I believe Rancho Relaxo <laughs> is just an Airbnb in the area. Oh, here we yeah, go. Here's yeah. Big Gerald Sanders. This is going to work. Here we go. So I'm going to pull it up so that viewers can see this. Let me get a close-up of this, and then let me click on it. So they can see the pictures. Okay, here we go. Thank okay, you. so now the live stream viewers can see. Okay, so here's the picture of the shrimp. So there's a picture of the shrimp. boiled or raw, I can't tell. You be the judge of that. There's uh, Touchstone Road, and there's the building. Big Gerald Sanders, all you can eat. Uh, <laughs> let me click on the other picture. I, I want to show you the weird one of the uh, dining room. Let's see here. I can get this to work. Um Oh, gosh. This is going to be tougher than I thought. <laughs> oh, oh, here we go. Here we go. Let's see here. Uh, oh, oh, yes, 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 yes. There it is. Here's the pictures. There's, oh, yeah, yeah. There we go. There's the pictures. Okay. So there's with the guy in the back. So there's, there's the Spider-Man picture. Spider-Man picture. The child is kind of hard to see as I'm sure. Child's about above the top. See but what about the top there? See him? I'll get to work even better than that. This is why you got to watch. Okay. Here right there. Right there. That second one. Don't How about that, everybody? Yeah, that one. If that doesn't creep you out, I don't know what does, what will. But at the same time, it's at, it makes me want to eat shrimp barbecue for some reason. I, I don't know. Shrimp why. barbecue? Makes me want to go to a buffet just to know if it's a real thing or not. That's all buffet. I'm saying. Hmm. Oh, well, let's, let's, let's look at the LBJ picture for the final one, just so you know I'm not making that up, too. There's the LBJ pictures. There. And LBJ uh, eating uh, outdoors at a picnic, I guess. I don't know. Maybe really, that was after he went to Burning Man. Did everybody see it yet? Or you send it to him? The live stream people will. Let's see oh, if oh, I can. Uh, let's see. Where's the live stream chat? Uh, I don't see anything in the chat there. But yeah, I don't know. I'm throwing ideas out there. 
I'm mm. throwing ideas out there. Hey, the well, picture with well, the, the, where the picture was with LBJ. Well, yeah, what's that, Chris? The picture of LBJ. The picture yeah, LBJ. with LBJ eating the seafood. Was there a picture? Was uh, Jackie Kennedy crying next to him by any chance? <laughs> I don't uh, see anything. No, no, no it's like there's two women in the background. Behind two them. women behind them. So it was Jay, Jay Edgar Hoover <laughs> and Lady Bird. I got you. Right, right. I don't know what's going on there. What? Or something like Be that. careful, Chris. Is there really a picture of, of Kennedy crying and LBJ eating meat? What? No, <laughs> I was, <laughs> no, I, I was, was going to say, being an idiot. you know, the picture on Air Force One with the swearing and LBJ and they he oh, demanded no. that Jackie be standing next to him and he yeah. still has her bloody clothes on. It was a bad joke, Jimmy. I was going to say, you know, be careful uh, not to talk about it too much, Chris. Somebody will claim it's Judy Baker standing back there. You know, if you if you linger long enough. That was my third guess. Yeah. OK. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, <sighs> I, yeah, I, I don't know. I'm just, I, I'm, I'm sorry if I derailed everything by bringing up this weird buffet out in Landers that may or may not exist. No, I like buffets. Well, here's, here's a crazy thing that I want. Uh, I'll just drop it on the table because I heard it. It's confirmed. Stalin was murdered by poison. He was murdered by. Molotov, the man, not the cocktail. Well, oh. maybe his cocktail. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, oh. I thought he had. I thought uh, he had Molotov disappeared long before he died. No. Mm. Oh no no no! See, this is what happened. Stalin mm. was down to like his last three guys that were always with him, and then he killed Barra, the psychopath. Right. So Molotov and the one other last guy that's left says, "Well, we gotta kill this guy, or he's gonna kill us." So they but, did. Yeah, but see, I thought he had banished Molotov already to the, uh, you know, to, to, to somewhere in the Gulag, and then you know somebody got in a scuffle with him and killed him. You know, uh, he he supposedly had gotten into a scuffle with the security there, and I thought that's how they they got rid no, of him while, while Stalin was still alive. I gotta check that. No, no. no. Maybe later, but Molotov was uh, basically the dude that killed uh, Stalin there hmm. in 1953. Well, we'll have to check on that. It's it's a crazy web of stuff to try and unravel when you try and figure out who died in what order. I know that that mm. one uh, propaganda film they put out where you got like a thousand people sitting in the, uh, you know, whatever they called their Senate, basically. It's like uh, everybody who's in that picture is dead within like a couple of years. Every single one of them. Holy but, crap. Yeah. Like Saddam, Golly. Saddam took power. All those people in the room, they're being let out. You know, they're being led to their deaths. Yeah, but everybody. Oh. Holy crap. I forgot all about that video. Yeah, I you forgot about that, Chris Graves. You know yeah, what I'm I talking about. Yeah. Yeah. They are talking again. Killing video. Yeah, it's a, it's a wild video where it's like, did everybody who's in this video right here, dead. Dead within like two years or whatever. They they just came up with different reasons. They they got him out and killed him, one way or another. Yep. But the Saddam one, they literally killed them when they brought them out the door. <laughs> well, that was another thing. But I'm I'm saying that the Stalin one is interesting because they're like celebrating his rise to power. All these people that are clapping and cheering for him, and then they're going to be dead within two years. Yep, you're they're right. all dead. <laughs> so you know. Anyway, wild Let's stuff. See. I have to check on that Molotov thing. No, I, I hadn't heard about that yet. Count what do you think is, about that, Uncle? Oh, yeah, what do you think? Very interesting. Are you interested? Yeah, very interesting. We're hearing them talking about that stuff. Count Pupper's saying it's bordering on government hour. What do you think, Uncle? Yeah. Bordering on government hour. Is this too governmental for your show, or is this okay? It's about food. <clears throughs> <laughs> it's it is about food, isn't it? Yeah, true, true. It's not talking about no government stuff. Not yeah. at all. Not at all. Uh, I, I disagree. It's food, Uncle. What? What's your favorite food? What we're we talking about? Shrimp. There you Shrimp. go. Oh, okay. All right. So, so again, we have to find Big Gerald's. I mean, we <sighs> we got to know where the best shrimp in Landers is. It now, could be this there. is the first I heard of it. Yeah. Of you looking in the in the uh, in his maps mm-hmm. and seeing this. Plus, every time I'm typing up there, I haven't seen this place. I haven't either. We haven't been that far out. Like, but I haven't been, been that far out to see where where this stuffs are. Because every time we go, 
We all try to go have some meal. I mean, we did it last week. We we're going to celebrate. We were celebrating, and we didn't even go to what we wanted to get to start with to eat. Remember? Uh, creative Accidents is saying something. He's saying he's. Uh, this is a piece of advice, perhaps. He's saying, um, Aaron, check out the guy who left the photo, never left reviews, but he had thousands of crazy photos. So I think what Creative Accidents is saying, we've got somebody faking this. Faking the uh... – Big Gerald Sanders. They're faking Big Gerald Sanders all-you-can-eat buffet. No, there's got to be a – there's got to be a fake then. You think it's a- I, I agree with um, Mr. Man saying Are they yeah. faking us out? This is faking us place? out to try to get to the place. Mm. And then when we get there, mm. we don't see the building. I think that's what they're is trying to do. Is this all a do. clever ruse that we make a video and we drive out there just to find nothing? Is this exactly. Somebody that? Exactly. Oh, that's exactly God. what I think he's saying. No one's safe. I, I, I wouldn't take a chance. Dang no, I think it's a trap. If, I think it's a trap. Especially if you're – Especially if you're hungry. Especially if you're hungry. If you go, it's your story. I think, I think Leatherface, Leatherface and his family. It's a trap. <laughs> don't, do it. don't do it. Well, man, I, I don't think you should try that. Then they I'm moved just, out of Texas. I was te- now they're in California. Leatherface. You're attempting to. You're attempting to. I can understand. Tempting to, yes. Well, I understand. Well, now but, I'm looking at the guy who left the photos. Somebody called David Steinberg. <laughs> He is, That's Leatherface. He changed his name. Leatherface? He's a local guide level seven, whatever that means. What does that mean? He's, That's I don't know. Know. He's something to Google. Uh, Scientology. Illuminati stuff. Yeah, Illuminati. What? He's got lots of weird pictures of people next to fancy cars. What's his that What's that his Teton level? Scientology. Get some of these phones. Get some of these numbers for him. Scientology? Could be. Who knows? Uh, he's a local guy, level seven. That's all I know. Ask local? Google what the heck that is. Sounds even like means. that Michael Myers stuff. Watch out. Michael Myers stuff. <laughs> uh, is, hmm. is David Steinberg up to no good? Maybe I should send him a message. Let's see here. Send him a Oh, here we go. Contributions yeah. from David Steinberg. Let's uh, see what he's done here. Yeah, what is he's he left doing? 14 reviews. He's got 1,381 <laughs> photos. He's got no answers, no places added. He's done one rating. That's about it. Oh, so, well, that's nothing. That that gets you level seven. That, and then that's nothing. There's nothing in there. I agree. There's nothing in there. We're wasting our time. You think he's time. faking this? Yeah, yes. But we can't know that unless How? we go there. That's what I'm saying. That's what he's going to put it to him. Put it to it. us. Is it Don't a trap? Go there, it's a trap. That's what do we're it. saying. Do it. It's like it's, a, a it's like a it's like a siren. It's like the siren saying ring, uh, ring, ring, like ring stop. To this. Do it's not like the go. Texas Chainsaw Massacre in California. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> it's, well, I know the ones on the road. We see the restaurants, but I agree that if we go to this place, we won't see the restaurant. You don't think so? Well, no. what is this building then, Uncle? What is that building? It's a long that's, building. That's the kill shed. <laughs> Maybe a shrimp kill. It looks like a restaurant. <laughs> looks like a restaurant. Yeah, it's a no restaurant. Phone number. Right. The yeah, you're the food. <laughs> hey, if people wanted to go out, let's suppose yeah. if, if people wanted to go out to the restaurant, mm-hmm. would you think they'd want to go to that place and say, "Hmm, that looks like a delicious meal." And then, and then the run down out there, but but then then there's a trick to it. Mm. Where is the phone number? Like yes, you were saying, yes, I know. Where you, there's no I know. number. I know. So how would you think they're gonna catch somebody to catch anybody that tries that to go into something like this and see it on the screen, but then go there and not see the building? And it says it has uh, dine-in and care- takeout, but uh, takeout. so if it has dine-in and takeout, why would they not have the number for the takeout number? That's it. They're going to take you out. That's what it that, means. No, that's it. That's it. <laughs> that's it, Jimmy. You're right. It's the weather face, and it's Chris. The weather face. I mean, Chris. Uh, You're right. You're right. That that's that's my point. It's that's not, my point. It's not that far out there. We could get there. 
It's not that. Yeah, it's but it will be, it'll be a building is my concern. My concern is, is will there be a building there? There is a building. I that, know there's a building. I, I want to make sure there's a building with food in it. There's a building. I don't know if it has food in it, but there's you a building. Have food. <laughs> I know there's a building. That much is on the uh, satellite. How do you know there's a building? Can't people well, just like upload? He's saying he sees it on the map here. Yeah, but he people could just map. upload stuff. Mm, no, no. I mean, Google Maps shows you a satellite view of the area. It looks like it's it's a long building. It could be like a barn type of structure. It could be. It could be a well, barn and not place. a restaurant. Yeah, there's a chainsaw. No, no, no. That's, that's a, clearly a kill and rape check. Wait, check. <laughs> yes, building rape right. check. Oh my what god! Heck, you're gonna wait. Another face. I'm telling you. Oh boy. Well, I, Rancho Relaxo is on here, and I know for sure that's a real. That's an Airbnb. I know that's what that is. So I know that's real. So if Rancho I Relaxo know. is real. Yeah, but that sounds like it's out of Elm Street too. <laughs> Elm Street. <laughs> Yeah, we're going back to the uh, old um, spooky movies again. I don't know. I mean, it could be good. It could be a good restaurant that, I mean. Come to <laughs> Crystal Lake Burgers. Crystal I Lake know. Crystal Lake Burgers. I know what you do. Delicious. Take you and your wife down there <laughs> and let me know what it's down there. How that, oh, that, that would be a good idea. You get scared of me, Uncle? You don't want to go out there? I'm, I'm, I'm scared. It's not going to be no no building. It's not that far out. No. Nope. <laughs> it's only the last road, oh, best dude. giant rock. Next to last road. The last right. on the left. <laughs> no, I'm seeing it on the map looks, here. But... It looks like the last road, or the last roads are Gold Gulch and Dundee Road. And then after that, there's really nothing. Uh, yeah, you're you're out there. <laughs> mm. Man. Touchstone. In the Bates Motel. <laughs> well, there's no not a building for a house motel. I don't know. I mean, it could make a funny video. That's all I'm saying. It could be a humorous video. Yeah, it could be it's a very video. scary video. <laughs> <laughs> it could be a funny video. What so we gotta do? Being what? All we gotta do to make it safe is just let somebody know that we're going before we go. Like, hey, we're going to Big Gerald's. If we don't come back, you know where we're at. Big Gerald's. That mm. never works. Don't you, what do you ever mean, watch a horror movie? Someone calls Yeah, but they're in on it. The people you told. I got it all figured out. I know all the facts. Well, tell me. Tell me. No, no. I got to tell you in person. I'm on my way. And they, so are, you, they never make it. The person that you told <laughs> fell off the cliff. Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> but these shrimps do look interesting. Don't they look? Doesn't that shrimp look good? They look good, but That's all I'm saying. Again, like, I'm at, saying is we miss the building. It looks like a I, unique dining experience that I want to. I want to Jaws. experience. Jaws well, is I, a unique dining experience too. <laughs> but what is it? You got Spider Man running over here and another ghoul sitting below him. I mean, yeah. I mean, this is crazy. It looks up, like what? a bar. What is up with Fact. the Spider-Man uh, acid trip going on there? <laughs> I mean, oh, I don't honestly, that looks uh, like somebody that somebody in the desert would just have in their house. So that doesn't like seem strange to me. Like, oh, it seems yeah. like peyote or something's going on. <laughs> <laughs> That's possible. It might be a house. Who knows? There's definitely a, a house point. and a large building on that property. It's a house and a might building. Let's Whether the of... building is an actual restaurant, that's what's up for debate. According to Google Maps, it is. It's a, it's and a if map. this is wrong, then Google's got something seriously wrong with uh, their they're mapping. Yeah, they're <laughs> they're going to want to know about that. I mean, that's, right. that's pretty bad. Yeah, man, you, you, you pop up and face. see this on this Google stuff, and I'm sitting here and looking at these shrimp. It, do you guys see it? <laughs> who's, who's looking at the strip? Anybody watching the live stream? Anybody the watching strip? the live stream right now? Uh, I can't, can't see it, but of course they're gonna make it look good. That's the uh, <laughs> that's the bait. Oh wait, they're wait, wait to creative, draw you in. creative oh access God, is saying, yeah. Aaron, it's a horse farm. You can see the walking ring getting closer to the individual horse. <laughs> horse <farm. laughs> There's a chainsaw too. Then what is this call? What's the shrimp doing this? Um, crazy accidents? Somebody's a joker. Somebody's joking us. What's going it's, on so here? So it's a ranch. Hmm. 
Leech. You're telling me there's horses in there, Creative Valley. Leech. You're telling me there's a Leech. A ranch <laughs> with a restaurant on it. Is that what it sounds like? Oh, crazy the accidents? Who's crazy accidents? Get him so on the barbecue this line. The meat is actually horse meat. Horse Ooh. meat? Not what you call horse meat. Exotic. What was all that one in a million talk? I don't know. Well, I mean... I still want it to be real. I, uh, it just doesn't seem right that somebody can just use Google Maps as their own personal uh, using them. That's, joke. It's what they're using them for. They just get on here and they're the Joker, Joker does. And the Riddler too. Yeah. They just get on there and make fake stuff. How dare they? And the penguin. Can you imagine if we have thought that and really think about going there and not seeing it? Can I you still, imagine what would happen? I still kind of want to go there. And he it's wants to. I, I almost don't care if it's fake. I've seen this movie too many times. Mm, I saw this movie. <laughs> He's seeing <laughs> movies <laughs> too many times. <laughs> oh, <laughs> uh, no. It's got a death curse. <laughs> Here we are now. Well. This is a bummer. No Coco Beware, but I, we no did Coco learn beware. a lot about something. What? <laughs> I'm not sure of what. <laughs> <we're> <laughs> doing, <right? laughs> you don't know what he's talking about. We definitely learned a lot tonight. Just Creative to Accents is... What? <laughs> what kind of port? Whoa. The Sizzler's still open, right? Oh, yeah. yeah Actually, the it. Sizzler in Yonka Valley shut down, to, much to my chagrin. I went there they did. once years ago. Oh, yes, that's right. They did. And now it's an uh, empty building, which will surely get made into something else at some point. But right now, it's just an empty restaurant with nothing in it. Does that mean that the Sizzler in Eagle Rock is closed, too, Alan? I don't know. Uh, it's, it's possible. I don't possible. know if you guys have this game where you guys are, but during, after the pandemic here, Ponderosa closed down. I had Ponderosa here, Ponderosa. but that was a long time ago. Yeah, yeah, I remember Ponderosa. <laughs> it's, it's an old oh, one I'm you can eat. Again, Uncle. <laughs> oh, it looks like, it looks like Creative know, Accents man. is dropping something else interesting at the Ocelli.com Oh, here we what, go. What it, is this, this is the Redfin listing for the property. Oh, oh look at this research skill. Let's see here. This this home last sold for one hundred thirty thousand uh, dollars on September twenty seventh, two thousand seven. It's an eight hundred eighty four square foot house on a five acre lot, typical, with two bedrooms and one bathroom. This home is currently off market. Off last market. sold in two thousand seven. Um. Ooh, the, the home's value is two sixty four. Okay, let's see. Um Where's that restaurant? Is there a street mm-hmm. view of it? Uh, they just show the, the topographical view. Of the restaurant. Eight hundred square feet. That's tiny. You couldn't have no restaurant or I, that's what I was thinking, Jimmy. The the structure that would be Big Gerald's is the horse uh <laughs> Barn or whatever, the, where they keep the horses is what. Uh, Kill shed. <laughs> oh boy, well, that's a bummer. Oh, and that's what. Now we know that it's probably no fish. <clears throat> I might still go there. You I'll go there. I'll be like, and, and, and I'll see if I can. Well, when you go to somebody's house in the desert, you better like not just walk up to the door. I'll say Leather that. Leatherface, I'm telling you. <laughs> Face. But maybe like get their attention somehow, wave at them. Maybe if you can get if they happen to be outside, you could talk to them. They can be quite nice. Offer chocolates. Mm. I'll be like, hey, are, do you are you aware that somebody has this post on Google Maps is Big Gerald's all you can eat shrimp and barbecue buffet? See what they say from that. See what for they that. Say about and that. then they're like, yeah, it was me <laughs> to get you guys here. <laughs> yeah, it probably would. I wouldn't bought it. Yes. There's a there's our joker for today. <laughs> the old trap. The old Being trap. Trap, trap catch. <laughs> I agree. Uh, I don't know. Well That's uh, why I said I'd take you and your wife to go first. Yeah, yeah. And let I'll, me know if there's one in. <laughs> yeah, let them know. <laughs> and then let me know if there's one in. Let us be the crash <laughs> test on you. Yeah, because you're <laughs> the one that wants to go. Okay. And you can force your wife into going. <laughs> Okay. So that 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 one, and then just let me know: is it a shrimp place or what is it? 
give me a ring, uh, you text me and I know that it was a bust. Right, right. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> simple, it? It's like Scooby Doo the movie when there was a phone call and the kid, the guy right. said, Phone call for Mr. Do. And yeah, a, a real guy walked up and said, Marvin Do? He said, No, Scooby. And then, yeah. <laughs> then they handed that it to Scooby. <laughs> and they yeah, turned a voice on the other side. Yeah, I've seen that one. Hey, I got a big bag of cheap speakers for you. Just come on out to the spooky forest alone. And Scooby said, Oh, oh no razor. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Korea back sense is a goof and I because there's no parking lot. I did notice that. <laughs> no That's parking lot. one of the tells, I'm telling you. Chainsaw <laughs> Massacre. Wait a minute. Well, no hotel. Unfortunately, then, then... we are getting toward the end of the show here, Uncle. So I guess we got to go to shout outs. What do you say? Uh, this is getting too wild to be this having a time out to go out for time shows. <clears throat> I think we have to. I think we should. Uh, let's see here. We started with Jimmy. So why don't we go to Jimmy? Oh, you first, Jimmy. Who you got to shout out to tonight? Yeah. Oh, shout out to Big Jerry's Barbecue. <laughs> oh, now we're going to the barbecue <laughs> side. <laughs> nice. Okay, thanks for being here, um, uh, Jimmy. We'll talk to you again. All right. Have a good week. All right, you too, man. Mm. And then we'll go to Chris. Who do you want to shout out to today? Yeah, who do you want to shout out to? Yeah, I want to shout out to uh, the late Gunnar Hansen. He played a guy named Leatherface in a movie called The Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I got to meet him. And uh, uh-huh. there's a barbecue place now where they moved the house that was in the movie. And uh, <laughs> I'd like yeah. to really shout out Chief Brody from Jaws. Good night. Oh, yes. That All right. Guy. Thanks, Chris. We'll yeah, talk to you again. Yeah. Uncle, you got any shout outs? I'm going to shout out to you two. Hope you do go and see shrimp. <laughs> mm-hmm. Okay, well, thanks for the shout out, Uncle. Yeah. I'm going to shout out <laughs> David Steinberg, the joker who posted this. Yeah, yeah. Steinberg. Him too. Now, what we need oh. to do is get Steinberg on as a guest and ask what the big idea behind uh, this fake is, this deep fake. I'm calling it a deep fake. Okay? Yeah, yeah. Because it deeply faked us. Fake us out very and got him, us. got him wanting to go to the shrimp place. Uh, I have a feeling it's not going to be there, <laughs> but he wants to go and uh, take his wife there. <laughs> Sidekick, what's he laughing? Uh, at? Uncle is really pushing for you to go. You know that. Yeah, you two go ahead. Go ahead. You, yeah, you find out about that. <laughs> David Steinberg, I'm by the way. I'm afraid it's not going to be there, I man, know. Chuck. David Steinberg, wasn't that the name of like a stand-up Steinberg. comedian in the 70s and 80s, or am I confusing this? Wasn't there a guy named David Steinberg that did that? I, I don't know. All I know that uh, is that this David Steinberg is a local guide level 7. I, I heard that part. Yes, I got it, but I love it. So, His uh, uncle keeps going, yeah, these two are going to go out there. CBC shrimp. Go ahead. <laughs> I love it. We'll see the shrimp of the famous Trump and barbecue of Landers. And I'm sure it's great. I'm sure it's great. So uh, I, 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 I still guess... don't. I still agree. There's no parking spots. How well, you yeah, I, I just there? figured you parked at the house because there's a house there. there they, there's a driveway area that you could park in. Oh, that's good enough. And also, I figured it's probably a lot of like dune buggies and stuff rolling up. So oh yeah, in that's dirt true anyway. too. That's true. It's not yeah. any actual cars that go out there. It's all the yahoos going out to Johnson Valley. Like, hey, you ever have this barbecue? It's good. Let's go. Oh. You know? Mm. It's not actual cars that go there. That's true. I forgot about that. Just take the Jeep and that's it. You're good. But anyway, Uncle, uh, we should let people know we're at Uncle Podcast on Twitter and Instagram. Lots of good content on there recently. And if everybody hasn't seen it, on yeah, mine, it's on Instagram. To see what I caught. The fish. Of the fish. the fish. Yes, yeah. indeed. Please do that. See That's that. Uncle Podcast. UncleThePodcast.com is the website. Help us find a wrestler. Follow these wrestlers. Follow Doink the Clown. Tell them Uncle sent you. And we'll see what we can do on that front. Um, I want to see if we can get one to talk to us. We will. Just one and that will get it going. Uncle, why don't you bring it home for tonight? There's our show. Doing it and 73 is gone. Bye-bye.